right, you guys, so I hope you're ready for another eBay haul. Today we're going to be having our sixth episode. Time is flying by so fast. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the eBay series. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. So the first item I want to talk about is a electric drill that I picked up. And this cost me $38.55. The shipping was super quick on this, so I have no complaints. I decided to go ahead and purchase this because the one that I own broke on me, so I had to go ahead and invest in a new one. So this particular one caught my eye because it has the drills that you can put at the top. It also has a lot of different things that comes with it, so I decided to go ahead and go with this one. So let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so here is everything that it came with. This is why I went with this because it came with all this extra stuff. I love when I can get a good deal. So we're gonna just go over everything that came inside. So of course you have your nail drill and the petals that come with it. We also have some nail art brushes here, which comes with eight brushes, a nail file, another nail file that have the four edges on them, some tip guides here if you wanna do a French manicure. We have this thing, I don't know what it's called, but usually you will put this on your feet when you're doing a pedicure. Some rhinestones for nail art. We have a nail brush here, and this is supposed to clean underneath your nails. A UV gel here, and this is in the color clear. We have the drills. Here is a nail clipper, some fake nails. We have some more sanding bands. And this little thing here is where you will hold your nail drill when you're not using it, just like that. But I think I like the way this is, like that. So yeah, that's everything that came inside this package. So I really, really like this set. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five out of five because the price was worth it. It's a great machine. You get all this extra stuff and I just love pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five out of five. So we're sticking with the whole nail trend right now. So the next thing I wanna show you is some press on nails that I picked up. So as you guys know, I don't do acrylic right now. So I've been searching for great press-on nails so I can just have a quick fix. And these are the ones that I picked up. This came in a set of five. And this is by Fingerprint Street Beats. I paid $13.57 for these. The shipping was very quick. It came within a week. The only thing about these, the nails look very small. So it looks like a little girl would wear these. I don't know if my nails are gonna fit this. Look how small they are. I wish I would have known they were this small. It looks like I'm going to have to give these to my nieces because, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and open one of them and see if they have bigger ones inside before I write it off. Alright, so there was another section underneath and these look more like it. So I'm going to go ahead and size it to my thumb and see if it will fit. Because these are the biggest ones that I see. Okay, I could get away with that. My natural nails are longer than this one, but uh, yeah. And it already comes sticky, so you just stick these right on. You don't have to do anything. Ooh, yeah, it's very strong. <laughs> so it's supposed to last up to a week. And then after that, you know, if you want to use it again, just use nail um, glue. But there it is. It comes with two charms in there also. So I love that it gives you, you know, the little extra benefits. All right, so I'm happy that I can actually fit these. They had me very scared at first because you see those look super small. But all in all, I really do enjoy these. I love the designs on them. I love that they come with little charms on them. So cute. And it's a quick, easy fix. It already comes with the sticky stuff on it. So you just press them right on and you're good to go. So I'm going to give these a four out of five because I wish it was a little bit longer so that my natural nails won't poke out because my natural nails have been growing. So I don't want to cut them just to wear these. But yeah, it came very quick. The colors are nice. I got five of these for $13. I think that's a great deal. So yeah, four out of five. Okay, so we're on to our third item, and this one is still in the nail category. I bought some stiletto press-on nails that you would do yourself. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that really good. Let's turn down the lights. So there they are. I had to turn the lights all the way down so you can see them. 
They're the white press-on nails, stiletto. Came in this box like this, and it has 10 different sizes. So I know you guys can barely see that, but you know, bear with me. Um, so I got this set for $10. The shipping was very quick. I wanted these so I can do my own nail designs on them. So I don't have to depend on, you know, set nail designs that companies offer. I can just do my own thing because I have so many nail art supplies in my collection that I need to start using them. So let me know if you want to see me creating a full set of press on nails. I think that'll be a great video. So let me know if you want to see that. So next I'm going to be showing you today's MAC display and the display of the day it's going to be my pigment stand. So this stand I use for my pigments. This is actually a foundation stand. You can see the holes are bigger than my pigments but you know because I don't own a whole lot of foundations from them that will fit inside of this, I thought this would be great for my pigments. So here it is. I do have way more pigments than this, but of course this is just what fits inside of this display and I think it displays it very nicely. I love it so much. I can also display my nail polishes in this if I wanted to. Fits in there nicely also. But because I already have a nail polish display, I didn't do that. This also fits the old packaging of the pigments perfectly because they are wider but shorter. And it fits right into this circle here. So I really, really love this. I paid $150 for this and I think that was with shipping included. Of course, the shipping was really quick. This does have a lot of weight to it. It's steel with acrylic over here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick rating of a 5 out of 5. You guys know, five out of five every time. Yes, I just love this. I love seeing all the colors and the shades and the sparkles. It's just so pretty to me. Okay, so today's dupe alert is gonna be on some brushes and it's going to be on some IT brushes. So here I have two of the brushes that I picked up. It does come with the little protector, just like the real ones. I'm not sure if these are real or fake, but they look dead on to me. So I just went ahead and took that off. So here are the brushes that I picked up. I have a powder brush and I will consider this a blush brush. Okay, so these brushes retail around 30 something dollars at Ulta and online. I got this on eBay for $7 each. So both of these were $7 a piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the real ones that I have. And here is my powder brush. As I stated, my powder brush is very dirty at the moment. It has a bunch of foundation on it, so just don't mind that. Just looking at it, they look like exact dupes. I love the coloring on it. I love the chrome effect. They have the logo on them also. The hairs feel the exact same. There's just minor differences in the brushes. Nothing too drastic. So here's a close-up on the blush brush here. The only thing that I will see that makes a difference is that it looks like it's just a sticker here, even though it's not, because you can kind of see the box there, the shading of the box. And the original one does not have that. But the brush itself, everything else looks the exact same. This one is the 225. So here you have it. You see that this one doesn't have that little box on there. And the color is a little bit different. That one looks a little more faint. This one looks more pigmented. It also has the IT Cosmetic here, and this one does not. So this one here is the powder brush. This one is more well made than the last brush there because it doesn't show the little box there. It looks very natural. The coloring is very pigmented like the real one. It just doesn't have the IT Cosmetics at the bottom there. They both have the logo there of the brush. So here they are side by side can't really tell a difference at all very great dupes buy it at your own risk I think they're worth the buy because you know they look the exact same other than this one having the little shaded box in there but that's it I feel like it could be real but I'm not sure I'm not 100% on that also I might not leave the links to the dupe alerts because sometimes that seller gets their shop taken down because they claim that it's a replica. I'll leave the name of the brushes and you can do your own research and find the shops that have them. So that's the only difference that I'm going to do from now on. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite product was. Did you try any of these stuff out? If you have, please leave it in the comment section below. We would love to hear your thoughts. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.